I'm Lady T506. Welcome to my channel. Hello, everyone, everyone. I am here for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Season 5, Episode 7. Excuse the scarf. It was raining like cats and dogs, squirrels and monkeys. And I've been told y'all I'm trying to keep this hairstyle up until next Friday. But the rain was trying to, from, to prevent that from happening. But back to what, but on to the episode. Last we seen Lyric and she's up there got a table in hand trying to throw up. But I'm like, girl, you're pregnant. You're supposed to put that down. You're not supposed to put your hands above your head when you're pregnant. At least that's what my grandma said. But I'm like, mm-mm, girl, mm -mm, put that down. A1, System Law, I seen her hair get flung across the doggone camera at one point. There's tables thrown over. There's chairs thrown over. Perfectly good food just thrown on the floor. I'm like, really? Yeah, I done just destroyed this little area of the restaurant and just done messed over some perfectly good food. They want to know why, well, A1's family want to know why I was Lyrica here. Because last we heard, y'all was on headed on to divorce. But he's like, well, I brought y'all all here to let y'all know, mama, that you're going to have another grandchild. Lord ain't happening. I'm not playing uncle to no child until I know it's yours. He's like, I can't believe my family would be saying some mess like that. But big, you know, well, Pam, she talking about something. Now, when did she get pregnant? Before or after they got, got together? Or before or after she got with Safari? I don't know, everybody done heard that she didn't got with Safari. So it's no longer, we not blaming Kate from Shell for this no more. Well, I guess you can kind of sort of run because she brought it in, you know, to the forefront. Everybody just like, yeah, we kind of did hear something. And now we got to go tell Big Lyrica. So Big Lyrica is sitting in the car all distracted like, we brought everybody here because I'm pregnant. She's like, oh, it's happy that they're having a baby, but they bringing a baby into all this mess. She almost fell out the car when she was up there trying to die. going to get it. She almost fell out the car when she was making her escape and her dramatic exes. I'm like, I had to rewind that. I was like, because it looked like when she was getting out, she kind of stumbled. I was like, girl, you need to sit down somewhere. Which she did, what she sat on on the curb somewhere. I was like, that just be grossing me out when people just be on public ground just sitting there. The home girl from a few seasons ago when she found out her boyfriend was gay, she was just like, out on the ground. I'm like, y'all can't find somewhere else to sit there. The car that brought you here, that would have been a good place to sit down. But I, I guess if we went through the theatrics, the ground right there on the curb would have been the best place to go. So she's sitting on the ground all destroyed. Oh, bringing a baby into all this mess. Oh, you know, Big Lyric, she always got to make a scene. But anyways, where was I at? Okay. Let's get over to Amber Diamond and Shun Lee. I am all for parents encouraging their children on what they want to do. But there is encouraging and then is you just throwing away money right now because clearly this girl does not have the talent. I'm, I'm just going to assume before you got to dishing out money, you listen to this girl sing or rap or do whatever it is that she does talent wise. I'm just going to assume that's how it went. But she got she got a photo shoot going on for Amber. Shun Lee, the mama that is. And I'm starting to think that Shun Lee is trying to live vicariously through Diamond, even though Diamond does not have any talent. She's going in her confession talking about some... I don't want you know, Di um, Erica, what's her name, Amber, to go through what I had to go through when I was younger. I had to do something strange for a piece of change just to make it through. But she got a mama. Her mama going to be there for her. At one point, she's telling Amber, you're not doing it right. You're not looking sexy enough. You got to get on that back and put your leg up. Take a picture of me. I'm like, whose photo shoot is this? Hers or yours? But she let Amber know quick, fast, and in a hurry. This ain't your photo shoot because you didn't pay for nothing over here. And I stopped counting how many times she didn't call her own daughter a bitch. She a spoiled bitch. Bitch don't do this. Bitch don't do that. I was like, oh, this is what we're doing out here. Okay. I was like, I can see why Amber, she's kind of, she kind of, I don't want to say she's stupid, but I was like, how could you not know yourself that you can't sing? Now, I know I can't sing. You not going to see me get on Love and Hip Hop going into nobody's booth or be around anybody singing unless you know the song on the radio and I get to sing but I'm not going to be out here 
proclaiming that I can sing when I do not, when I know I can't, and I sure ain't gonna have my mama's put no money down, and my mama sure ain't gonna put no money down when she know I can't sing. My mama will look at me like, there's nothing else you can do talent wise, because that ain't for you. And it it been good if you know Amber's mama Shun Lee had told her that, but she didn't. Now let's get over to Marcus and Brooke. Marcus think like he's going on a romantic um weekend at the hotel with Brooke. Think he finally gonna get him some. Well, lo and behold, and not what is her name? I'm getting names mixed up. Brooke then set up a whole wedding in this hotel room with witnesses. A justice of the peace invited the mamas there. He come walking in like, okay, there's a just married sign. There's somebody holding a Bible. There is a cake over there. It's decorated. Like he's walking in like, bro, what's going on over here? Like we need to like, we need to talk somewhere. She's like, it's our wedding, babe. We're getting married. You know, she didn't went all the way. She didn't snap all the way from crazy. She over the cuckoo. I think cuckoo was a step up from crazy. Because we didn't sing Brooks crazy. But she didn't like amplify that to being cuckoo. The mamas are sitting there like, what in the devil is going on here? So he takes her out into the hallway and like, look at Brooke. Um, I didn't picture it happening like this. I mean, you know, I'm not looking right. You ain't got on white, but, you know, I don't think you should be wearing white anyway. But if you want to, that's fine. But, you no, know, we ain't got no flower girls. The mamas, they don't have on their wedding day dresses. You know, we don't have a venue. So, you know, I don't think this is not good for us right now. So maybe this should be our engagement party. How about that? She's like, oh, yes, we going to be getting married. I can stop doing this ring to everybody and I'm going to get a real ring. But I'm like, Marcus, I don't know if you knew this or not, boo, but you was already engaged. You just didn't know it. In her mind, Brooke's mind, y'all was already engaged. You late to the, you late to the game. So, y'all, let's go over to Tierra. In Paris because Nikki decided I've been in all up in Tierra's business since episode one I do not have time to go confront Akbar so you guys I have to sit back spend time with my family so you guys go and do that I know I've been all up in your business here but now it's not the time so Tierra and Paris go confront Akbar and Akbar says with confidence well Look, why don't you come in and I can talk to you. I invest in women. I added value to you. And those women that she investigated, I added value to them. Welcome to the Akbar. He might as well have done that. And they sitting there looking like, what? He's like, you've been in bad relationships before. Look where you at now. Well, where she's at now was in a relationship with a man who has a wife and a girlfriend, and they seem to have a sister, sister-wife relationship. Okay, you want to speak to the women? Here they come. Welcome to the up bar. That is like all I'm getting. It was very on the verge of feeling like some type of cult. Yeah. So the women, you know, the wife, I think her name is Sade, and the girlfriend which is Alejandra, they both think that Sierra sent her minions to investigate them. I knew nothing about this, but why she speaks up? Because, you know, she is number one. And if you want to go through Akbar to, you know, deal with him, you have to deal with me. I am number one. Alejandra, she is number two. And if you decide to join the Akbar then you will be number three. This is how it works over here. And when he decides to get another girl, she will be number four and you will be ahead of her. That's how you know it goes. I'm the wife. I am number one. I was first. Alejandra came along. She is number two. But she is second in command. I guess third because Akbar will be number one. You will be fourth in command. But you will be higher than the girls to come behind you. So welcome to the Akbar. That's all I was getting when I was going on with that. But I'm like, this is crazy. And then at one point, wife 
And girlfriend got into it because girlfriend wanted to say something. But I was like, remember, we are a team. We are a united front. The house cannot crumble. He didn't say that, but I'm paraphrasing on what I was getting from him. And Tierra and Paris was looking like, what? At one point, Paris and Alejandra got into it. Then wife, she was going after Agra saying, see, this is what happens when you try to pick them on your own. That's why you need me to help you. I'm like, so it was already, you know, evident that she was going along with this. But apparently she gets to pick them out as well. I was like, oh my goodness. Then like the wife and girlfriend are try as Tierra is trying to leave and like, you know what? I'm not doing this. I, if I want a man, he'd be my man and my man alone. I don't want to be a part of the Akbar. So I'm going to leave. And like the wife Shade and girlfriend Alejandra like run up on Tierra and she's leaving. I'm like, are you serious? Paris is yelling at doggone it sleaziness Akbar because he had a smirk on his face while he was sitting there like, yes. This is the Akbar. I know I keep on doing that because it seemed very cultish. And he just had the smirk on his face like, yep, this is the way it goes at the Akbar. And I'm like, oh my goodness, are you serious? Tierra's outside almost in the van. Wife comes rolling up on Tierra again at full force. Girlfriends running up on Paris. They are trying their darndest to get to these people. Like Tierra, she was trying with all her might to get to wife Chade. Paris was like, now, nah, Holly Hondra, I know you like to work out and stuff and stuff, but if you want some, you can get some. But Tierra walked away like, nope, not fan to do this, nope, I refuse, not gonna do this, not at all. So let's get over to Rockstar and all the mess that he has going on with him. He didn't invite Brooke out to hear Amber's song. He got it, you know get her up to speed on something like look here i was at the club well it's brooke in paris i was at the club i met a model the model turned into a singer once her mama dropped twenty thousand dollars on the table for me to make a song for her now i tried to do all my houdini my david copperfield my david blaine my sigford and roy my sigfried and roy on this music all the magic that's under my sleeves and I still cannot get anything that sounds even remotely good. So, all these people are here. I had to spend money for them to just bob along with the song. So, that's what y'all here to do. Y'all gonna bob along with the song. When the song come on, just y'all just bob along like it's something real good. So, the song comes on. Now, y'all, me, I can hold my tongue most of the time, but my face gives me away. Because I would have been sitting up there talking with my eyes with whoever that I was there with. We would have a full conversation like, yeah, I, my, facial expressions, my facial expressions give me away every time. I be trying to, but it just don't be working all the time. But Mama was like, hold up. I did not spend $20,000 for this mess, did I? What is this? It's so out of tune. You can't hear what's going on with my daughter's vocals. He's like, oh, you want to hear what it sounds like? Would it not be an auto tune and all the magic I had to do? Okay. Run that beat right there. So, I don't know what the song was like. Road trip. Drip, drop, I know that ain't it. Road trip, on the road, on the road. And, and you could tell Amber she wasn't getting it with that song. Mama was like, I know you lying. She go over Amber like, look at her girl. See, that's why you should listen to me. You hear that mess? I put that $20,000 on. You hear that mess? Amber's like, it's okay, mom. That song was good. And walked off. I was like, I know you lying. Did we hear the same thing? Because that did not sound good, boo-boo. 
Well, your mama should have known better. When you know better, you do better. Because she would have known better not to spend that much money on the vocals that you got because you can't sing. Y'all hear that mess I just did? I know I can't sing. So in no way in the world I'd be getting on TV put, putting that mess out there. But he didn't have to embarrass her like, hey, you was mad at the mama because she said it was best, which it was. But I like you. Hey, there's only so much a producer can do because if the thing ain't about right, thing about right. Ain't my magic on my skills is on help thing, but you didn't have to embarrass Amber like that. But she didn't have to walk off like she just did something either. So y'all it's to sit down because Lyrica and A1 have to tell their good friends, Princess Ray J, Marcus and Brooke, that we having a baby. But Raiden already invited Safari there, so he's looking like, he's trying to do the math in his head, like, they have been separated for a few weeks now, and Safari allegedly got with her before that, so he's doing the shenanigans math in his head, like, it's not good. He didn't already told Princess he invited, you know, Safari, but Princess like, can't you just play dumb and not say nothing? So, Safari gets there and Ray's like, now Safari, don't you have something you should tell A1? And Brooke is looking like, I know this ain't what I think it is. Well, A1, Safari said that he slept with Lyrica. And when I tell you Brooke did the church finger and like stepped out, excuse me, right quick. And ran off to the bathroom because that's where Lyrica and Princess went. Because, you know, they both pregnant and I guess they got to pee. She was like, girl, get out here now because Safari is out there and it's about to go down. So they come out. Before that, he's like, he's Safari's like, do you think I will sleep with your wife? I'm asking you, did you? It's not whether I think you did, it's whether you did or not. Lyrica come out saying, this is not what we fit to do. We not fit to do this. I already told A1 that I did not sleep with him. We not doing this. We not doing this. The good people that are over there in the background is like, what is going on? That would have been me. Because y'all know I'm a cheerleader for foolishness. Happened to me, what was that? Saturday. I was at Popeye's with my husband. Now, I don't know what happened. But we go on the inside because the drive was acting stupid. And the people who came in before us, they ready to fight the people behind the counter because homegirl at the drive through was getting, she was getting a little mouthy. So she ready to call corporate. She wants to speak to the manager. But the manager, in the midst of all this, walks out. And I'm just sitting like, I just want to get my food. But I want to see what's going on. But I don't want no violent violence to happen. That's where I was at in the situation. But back to this, she's going on about how she's not fit to do this. She didn't sleep with Safari. Y'all not fit to do this. What's good? Girl, getting real, real loud. I was like, the louder she was getting, I was like, baby, who are you trying to convince? Us or yourself? So, y'all, that was the just that went on. If I left anything out, yeah, by all means, leave a comment or video response. And like always... I want to thank my subscribers and the people who watch my video. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.